to everybody for the delay there. And I cannot see your, I can't see anybody's comments yet. So I'll keep working on that. And in the meantime, thanks for joining me, everybody who is here. Um, so stupid. I don't know why I can't see these videos. It hates me. So this is Steinal Res by Badger. It just came out really fast for some reason. And um, so I'm just priming my lure with um, this. And then I still use a base coat. So I'll just get this down. It helps to um, promote the adhesion of your base coat so that you don't have, you know, sometimes uh, if, if you've ever painted lures before, if your clear coat gets compromised, if you don't use a decent um, adhesion promoter of some type, there are other ways to go, but this is one of the easiest, less, least toxic ways to go. Um, it'll it'll tend to pull away from the plastic uh, because the acrylic paint just doesn't adhere very well to plastic. It's not really meant to um, be used on plastic necessarily. So. So you might have some problems there if you don't use an adhesion promoter. So I use Dino Res, and um, then I put a base coat over top of that. So we're going to do a few different ones here because I have a couple colors. I'm going to try and get to both of them. And if I don't, then I will do the other color next time. But I'm going to start with one color, and then we'll come back around if I want to spend the time to do the second color. Probably not. This is the first color I'm probably going to put in my store. I might get it done this week. Um, I don't. I might not though. It just depends. I've got like I just did jalapenos. Um, we like Chris roasted chilies and I pickled jalapenos. Shane, yes, I I will be praying for you. My my brother is in Baton Rouge on the south side of Baton Rouge. So they're in the path of the storm as well. Not probably as close to the coast as you got, as you guys, if I remember right, you might be a little closer. So I hope you're being safe. And if you're, you know, in in the like what's expected to be catastrophic area, I hope you're getting out. Your life is more, far more important than your stuff. And uh, I, we will definitely have you all in our thoughts and and I've been watching it myself. It, it, it all kind of came fast. I wasn't really expecting it to be that big. And then all of a sudden I saw on the news this morning that it was supposed to be quite a bit bigger than we thought. So you're in our thoughts for sure. And if there's anything we can do to help from afar, let us know. All right. So um, I'm just doing a few different lures because if I get to that second color, I don't want to have to put this stuff on it again. So did somebody turn? I think my compressor got turned off. Hang on one second. Yep. I thought I was losing pressure there. I probably flipped it off earlier because I was going in for a while. All right. Yeah, sorry, Mike. I'm not trying to delay you or upset you. I just had some difficulties. I try to do my stream on YouTube at the same time, and it was not allowing me to connect. So this is a little bit of alcohol. Um, the Stano Reds does tend to have a little bit of a um, issue with it. Like, well, it's in, it's got good adhesion, so it does stick a little bit inside the bowl. And um, you got to make sure you clean it out really well. Otherwise, you get, like it could clog your brush really fast if you don't clean it out really well and fairly soon after you spray it. Hello, Brad and Steven. Hello, Matt Montana, Keto, a dual paint project. 
What does that mean, Mike? Hello, everybody. Um, I think I just covered. Um, I know you asked a while ago, Brandon. What you just? Co I just covered that. I think the base coat and. Um, Uh, yeah, you can send me a loader of paint, Brad. I'm not that I'm caught up on custom orders now, so I'm just trying to get like more stuff in the store right now. So you can send me whatever you have. This is um, Wicked Detail Flat Opaque White, and this is what I use as my base coat. So Steinal Res for my primer, and then that is my base coat. Thank you, Rodney. Hi, David. Anthony, hello. Hello, Arthur. Hey, Kevin. You'll, um, you're going to be seeing the lure from afar, Mark, and that's just the way my show is. I've asked people if they would rather see it from the, third, from the first person point of view, and it got voted down. People would rather me just show you the progress as we go up close and actually be able to see my face and what I'm saying. My show is primarily for my customers, not so much. I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to help people learn how to paint lures, but um, that's not my primary focus. It's primarily just um, to catch up with everybody and give everybody an idea of how all of this works if you're interested in knowing some stuff. Okay, I get asked that question a lot. Everybody wants me to, you know, change my camera view, and um, it's been asked many times, and I've done polls and surveys, and I can't make everyone happy, so this is how it's staying. All right. There's my dog. That's Miss Sage. She's a golden retriever and she is a barking fofo. She bark, bark at the same neighbors she sees every day. I'm sure you all can relate. A lot of you all can relate. All right. Hey, Matt. Hey, Jenny. I'm painting to a couple of shad patterns, uh, fairly bright shad patterns that I came up with today. I was trying to come up with some new colors. And man, I tell you what, it's really hard to come up with something unique. You have to really like try a bunch of stuff. And even then your stuff's always gonna look somewhat like somebody else's stuff. There's nothing, it's really, oops, that's rough stuff. There's no way to avoid um, being similar to other people's work. You know what, I thought I had that color out and I did it. So my apologies, I have to dig out my yellow gold. It's right here though, so don't fret. I thought I put that one over here. I set all my colors aside. And I thought I grabbed this one, but I guess not. So this is yellow gold. I'm sorry, golden yellow. I always say that backwards. It's Wicked by Createx. So just a few drops is fine. This has, this is probably, this paint's probably bad. It doesn't look particularly smooth, but it should spray. I don't use water-based paints a lot anymore. I mostly use lacquer paints. So my paints get old. So I just put a little 40, um, 40 13 reducer by Createx in here. And I like to stir with a, a disposable paint brush. I just kind of wipe it off and rinse it out in my water cup. Hello, Ron. Um, Robert and Sheila, hello. My compressor is a Pache. Um, pro series. I did not pick it out, so I don't, I'm not going to recommend it necessarily. I got it from a, um, a friend and he gave it to me because he had, he's an airbrush artist and he had ex, an extra compressor. So I, I kind of got spoiled in that regard. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. Um, and one issue I kind of ran into was overspray. And um, so I did this design earlier. I'm gonna try just an angled 
doing it um, at an angle to try and avoid overspray. But there's probably another way I can do it by like doing the bottom last. But I'm afraid the colors aren't going to blend very well if I do that. So I'm just going to, I don't know, see how it goes. I'm going to try and be more careful this time. So um, do a 1-5 and a 2-5. That way I have a backup if I screw up. I can always set one of them aside and just keep going with the other one. I've already done these colors. Um, and I just sprayed golden yellow on the bottom half, basically, is all I did. And I just let it fade onto the belly. So nothing nothing much going on yet. I just dump that in my rinse cup. I do, I do that all the time. Then my rinse cup has paint in it. I only use it to rinse out my, like, little stir brush. So it's not really a big deal. But Hey, Grandpa, in the house. Okay, Anthony, a crank and a medium diver. Why don't you PM me so I can figure out which medium diver you want me to do? I'll forget if you tell me here. I'll, I might forget because my brain's kind of all over the place when I'm on my show. Not that anybody would have noticed that. Um, it's better if you PM me. That way I won't forget to write it down. Bob. Thank you so much for the purchase. I, I'm glad you liked it, and I hope you catch some good fish on it. Hello, Derek. All right, we are going to make sure you guys share the feed if you can. I appreciate the shares on your page or wherever you think people might like to see Laura painting. So this is just crusty paint. Just take it off. And this is Wicked Fluorescent Green. So just a few drops in here, and then I'll add some reducer. The Wicked, the regular Wicked colors are a little bit more um, thick than the detail colors, so you need a little more reducer. Some of the Wicked detail colors, you don't necessarily even need to reduce them if you, um, unless you want to. But with the regular Wicked colors and the regular Createx colors, not the transparent, but the regular, you usually have to add some reducer. Um, you can crank your air way up if you want and try and blow them through, but I've not had much luck with that and it's not really very good for blending purposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little fluorescent green, just kind of blending along the edge of um, my golden yellow. So um, it kind of goes to the midline. And I'm gonna sort of try and, so see that came out way too fast. I forgot that I was painting with water-based paint again, like I do every week. So my paint ran. So out with the hair dryer I go. So I always, with lacquer paints, they dry almost instantly. They're just a lot more toxic. So you gotta, you gotta have the right setup for it. And you have to be up for the, the toxin exposure, if you will. You really have to have a garage with like a good ventilation system and a good respirator, which you should be wearing what, no matter what. I always wear a respirator when I'm painting. I just don't wear it when I'm on my show because nobody will be able to hear me or not very well anyways. All right, hello, Kevin. Hello, Mark. You can't see the live chat. Huh. There has to be a button somewhere on YouTube where you can open the chat um, screen. Mine popped right up, so I'm not really sure. Anyway, that side's going to look like crap no matter what I do because I put too much paint on it. So I'm just going to go to the other side. and If I have to touch this up later or redo it, I will. I think I reduced this a little bit too much as part of my problem. And so it's coming out really thin. I hate sitting and painting just, just to let you guys know I hate it. I like to be able to move around and uh, I feel very crowded and immobile right now. It's like so hot. In here it is 90 degrees at 7 18 p.m. and um, it was 97 today so it is really hot in here right now 
to see if anybody cares. <laughs> like, I don't care. You're in your AC, I'm sure, living the good life. I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking, guys. Oh, also, um, let me pin the, I'm sorry, I forgot to pin the website on the bottom of the comments here. It is in the description. But let me pop over to um, copy that. Let me paste the, um, see if this works. No, stupid. Paste. There we go. Okay. There's the, um, the discount code. That'll get you 15% off anything that's in stock. Only, only in stock items. So my live discounts, they don't apply to custom orders. It takes me a little bit more time to do custom orders because I'm only doing a few of one thing at a time. Whereas like these orders for my, these um, lures I paint for my store, I'm painting like, you know, 50 at a time. So it's a lot more efficient. So I don't offer discounts on custom orders unless you're ordering like wholesale for a bait shop in large quantities or something like that. Or for yourself. Sometimes maybe you want a hundred of something for yourself. Then I might be able to work a deal. Okay. I'm going to call that good. So that's just fluorescent green. Um, it's kind of hard on the YouTube feed to see it. At least from my view, it's hard to see it. My, on my computer, it's hard to see the colors. Um, so let's just clean this out. That's just water. It doesn't have to be very good because I'm going to put um, another green color and I'm going to try a couple different things because like I said, I did this pattern in lacquer to begin with. So um, it's going to look different. I'm going to try um, candy green. So this is uh, candy 2O and this is by Createx. So you can get it all the places you normally get Createx. And then this is Balancing clear, 40-30 balancing clear. And this stuff is what you want to mix the candy um, paint. They call it paint, but what it really is is dye. So um, you just need a tiny bit, a couple drops in here is plenty. And then you mix it with the balancing clear and a little bit of reducer. And that keeps it from running because it's so thin. It'll, it'll run when you spray it. So you have to spray just a very little bit at a time, tiny mist of paint and then let it dry and then just keep building on it. And if you, if you just hose it down, it's just going to pool up. You're going to have a mess. So I'm going to turn my air down a little. This is um, an adjustable. Um, it's a quick disconnect um, where I can just pop my airbrush on and off, right? Without unscrewing it or turning my compressor off. And I have an actual air adjust right here on the valve. And then I don't, that way I don't have to use a regulator, a regulator on my uh, compressor to turn my pressure down. Okay, onward. Oh, past his bedtime. Hi, Peter. Hey, Shane. Oh, guess what? If, I just saw this because Shane was on here because he, uh, he was bragging about his Google results, search results, placement. So I Googled, I Googled custom lures today. And uh, on my page, I was the third page that came up. And, sh and your page, Shane, was like five. So I'm just kidding. Like, I would have never known that. Uh, but then I had a friend do it because I was like, no way. So I had her do it and um, she had me at number like five. So I want to thank everybody for visiting my page because every time you visit my page, it helps me move up in the search engine ranking. And then more people will see it when they search for custom lures. Now if you search for custom baits, I'm like, eight or ten or something like that. But I thought that was kind of interesting. 
I never would have expected that. The website that I use, the, the web service I used to host my my website probably has something to do with it too, because they, you know, offer search engine optimization as part of the description. But I don't know how much they really do. Like no one tells us what they're doing really. Not without digging to find out what they're doing. And I don't know, I don't have that kind of time. Okay, so all I'm doing is going over this with candy green and you have to be really slow about it because like I said, it'll run if you're not slow. So it takes some time to kind of just fan it over. Uh, I am painting some bright shag patterns today. I apologize, I had a description all right now, but then the way that I went in to make this video on YouTube, it didn't um, work right. So I had to kind of read. I kind of had to close out and go back in. And it removed all of my, like, all of my description items and stuff like that. I think I just made a mistake when I was, um, the way that I went in. I think I went in through Creator Studio and that was my mistake. I have no idea how that happened, but. Again, I'm just missing um, emerald green candy 2 over top of fluorescent. Thanks, Tamara. Thanks for joining. Share the feed if you can, everybody. I appreciate it. And then also check out what's in stock. I've got lots of sale items that have been reduced again and then some new stuff. And everything is 15% off with the code LIVE15 until Sunday night. So if you... Want to get the discount? Make sure you under, uh, order by Sunday night. And I have pinned it. I have pinned all that info at the bottom of the comments, and it's also in the description of the Facebook video. Um, if you're not on Facebook, just enter live L I V E 15 in all caps at ColoradoCustomLures.com to get 15% off everything until Sunday night. It is so hot and there's storms in the area. So it's really humid. I shouldn't complain about weather though because the people in the South are who we should be worried about. Not my sweaty self. So I hope you guys are all getting out if you can, if you're like in the danger zone. I've not, I've only been, I was in Mexico when a hurricane was right offshore one time. So, but all I really saw was just like six out of seven days of my vacation. It was like windy and rainy, cloudy, but it didn't make landfall where I was. So that's as close as I've gotten to a hurricane. And I've been through tornadoes though. I grew up in the Midwest and there were plenty of tornadoes growing up. So a different sort of thing, but all scary nonetheless, right? Moss green now. I'm going to take one of these at least, maybe both, and I'm going to put some moss green on the top. This isn't coming out the same colors as the one I did uh, today because the paints are different. So I'm kind of trying to get as close as I can with what I have here. They just don't have the exact same colors as different brands are all different colors. So just kind of mix them up until you get what you need. Chris, he's not babysitting. He's their father and fathers don't babysit. <laughs> this is a pet peeve of mothers. When you say that dads are babysitting, just so you know. I'm like totally just razzing you because like, I know you meant no harm. But I'm just saying, dads don't babysit their own kids. In case you're a dad and you're listening, don't say that to your wife. All right. So I'm just misting this over the shoulders, over the top, you know, edge or whatever. So you have a nice fade. It's nice and bright. You got the brightness of all those colors. And then you're just going to make it a little darker here on top. And that should be good. I'm just gonna boop the nose a little here. So that's our base colors. And then we'll do some scales and some shading on the top. 
I'm gonna do um, some color on the, the nose and a dot. So the hair dryer will just get you moving faster a little bit. Um, it just speeds up your drying process if you're trying to move on. You've never babysat your own kids. See, Robert knows. He knows. He's like, yeah. That's funny. The violet. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have been shipped season. They are on their way. Thank you for the order. Those went pretty fast. I still have some of those Violet Chartreuse strip baits in the um, in a couple of the shallow diving styles, but they went really fast. So I'll have to do some more of those sometime. So this is where we're at with this color. I don't think I'm getting a good focus on. If I get too close, it gets kind of angry with me. So maybe if I put my hand up there, it'll well. Nope, not really, didn't help. One of these days I'll get better with the webcam and YouTube, but I keep saying that's probably never going to happen because so um, this week my daughter's class got quarantined. They were three days into school and they got quarantined because somebody was exposed, I guess, in the class. And uh, so I had to do remote learning all week last week last week and I can't that's basically like I can't work at all on those days because she doesn't work independently very well so I have to walk be there the whole time <sighs> so anyway that was my my week so like normally I would have gotten a design in the store but it didn't happen and that's why Okay, so next we're going to do some white pearl scales. So this is Aztec uh, by Testers, and this is a pearl, a very opaque pearl white, and I love this paint. Um, you can get it at USA, or sorry, um, I'm trying to remember where I got this. TCP Global, I think, is where I got it. I had a little bit of residual green in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to reduce this a little. You don't have to. It sprays right out of the bottle just fine. But I don't want it to get dried up, and I don't want it to be too thick too fast. So I did reduce it a little. So I'm going to grab my mesh. I went with, like, hexagon mesh for this design. So it's got pretty big holes. Um, I have all different kinds of mesh, and I just put them in these to hold them in place. So I'm going to grab my loop. I'm going to start with this one because this one's kind of mucked up a little bit. You probably wouldn't even notice if you saw it, but I can see it. So I'm going to press this up against my mesh. So all I'm doing is just pressing it, and then I'll spray through it. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Very kind of you. Sweet, Brad. That's awesome. I was telling somebody a story about you today, Brad. Um, oh, in this, it's Coke Zero. I'm a Coke Zero addict, but no crown. I do not drink. I'm a super fun hater, but all I drink is Coke Zero. It's probably really, everybody says it's bad for you, but that's my one vice, so I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to spray uh, basically just along the shoulders here, like just kind of upward and along the shoulder. It'll overspray a little bit down, but I don't want it to overspray down too much. So I'm going to try and keep it on the top, and I'm going to angle my brush up just a little bit. This paint is kind of um, its own. It's got a mind of its own. It's a different consistency than other airbrush paints, and it tends to... Um, Get, it'll get clogged in your brush really fast. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get closer to the camera, but um, let's see if that helps. It doesn't help. Anyway, 
that webcam doesn't like to focus up close. It's kind of frustrating. So let's do the other side now. Again, I'm kind of pointing like upwards on the shoulder of the base a little bit. Just so I don't get too much overspray down onto, oops, that was my back door. It just slammed shut because it's windy. Okay, so there, there we have it on both sides. You can see that at all. And I'm sorry, I know you're look, looking down at me the entire time you're on YouTube. <laughs> That's the only way I can get you to see everything. I guess I could do like a closer view on YouTube. Um, and then do a further away view on Facebook. Okay, I've always said that, but I've never done it. Okay, so I'm just doing the green one the same way. I tried um, a gold, like a, a honey gold color on this as well, and I'll show you what it looked like. Um, but Chris and I made the executive decision that the white looked better, so we decided to do that. But we're gonna make it, I'm gonna do some shading, so you'll just, you just hang tight and you'll see. It's not gonna stay this simple. All right, Mountain Dew Zero. I've never even heard of that. Ooh, eight pound nine ounce large mouth. Dang. Yeah, see, but Brad won't, he doesn't want people to know what he's using. He's one of those guys. My husband is the same way, so he's not much of a sharer. Like, Brad will send me pictures, but like, he won't, he won't send it with the bait. <laughs> with the picture of the bait. <laughs> it's funny. I know, and he's the one that catches the huge, the huge ones all the time because he, yeah, he uses swim baits and stuff a lot, and he fishes my stuff a lot, so he catches a lot of big fish on my stuff. Anyway, I was talking to a friend of ours. He just bought two of the mouse. Oh crap! You know what? I forgot to take those mouse wake glides off my website. I think I don't have those, so don't order them. I just sold them to somebody, uh, a friend of ours that was over at the house. He. Um, I was telling him about you and the gators in Florida with the mouse swim bait, Brad. <laughs> My husband used to live in Florida. He did briefly, and he used to catch gators all the time, too. But I don't know how many he really caught. Probably a lot less than he, than he tells me. <laughs> he doesn't watch this video, probably. So it's okay. Big Red Zero? I've never heard of that either. That sounds awesome. I want to try that one. Um, Coke, Cherry Coke Zero is my go-to. Um, if I can't get it, I will settle for regular Coke Zero. Um, yes, I appreciate those pictures, Peter. Peter sends me close-ups of the fish lure in its mouth, and um, you can't tell where he is or who it is. I mean, I don't think he cares because he fishes in a private lake, on a private lake, please. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna move on to the top. I'm just browsing you, Peter. We're just jealous. So brown, I'm gonna go sepia here, and I have, I could try um, to do a little bit of burnt umber, and I'm going to with one of these because um, I just want to see what it looks like. I don't think I have burnt umber in lacquer paint. I don't have that color. This gets dry. That, this is so crusty. This paint is so crusty on the top. So this is Sepia, Detail Sepia by Wicked. It's a good, um, like, brown toning, like a just makes things softer in general and stuff like that. But it's a brown, essentially, a uh, transparent brown. Three gator chases in a python. Oh, geez. Chris lived in Denellen, which is, I don't think it's a big town. It's on the river near like Ocala, maybe. Like I've never been there. His grandpa owned a property uh, a rental property there that they were fixing up. And so he um, moved there for a while to help him. Like when he was younger, like 18, 19, you know, not like younger, younger. 
so he fished a lot of that um, river and then I don't know, some of the surrounding areas, I guess. Okay, so I kind of misted over the the, um, the white scaling with some brown so that that brown kind of goes over it and bleeds out. Sorry. My son's on his, um, he has um, a, a front loader, a John Deere front loader power wheel. And he's a maniac. And he came barreling into the garage just a minute ago. And I couldn't tell what the sound was. Are you a crazy driver? All right. So this is burnt umber. Burnt umber is a reddish brown color. It's another one of those that's um, a detail color. It's transparent. It's meant for shading um, and toning and all that good stuff. Hello, Andra, Andre, right? It's Andre in South Korea. What are you doing there? What are you doing in South Korea, Andre? I remember you very well. You bought some things from my live sale, like the first one I did, didn't you? I remember because we uh, we had the hardest time um, with your name because your spelling. I have a non-traditional spelling. Oh, not that non-traditional, but everybody spells my name wrong. Public but has no boat access. Oh, I see. So nobody goes there. Uh, brown trout minnows. I think I have one in stock. Um, if you message me and tell me what you want, I I can paint them for you. Usually, if they're not moving real fast, I don't make more. Um, but if you message me and let me know that you want one, then I can get it done pretty reasonably fast. So this just looks a little more reddish brown, but it's, yeah, I don't think I like it, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, just shoot me a PM and I'll, I'll get them done. If it's something I've painted before, it usually doesn't take me too long anymore. I used to be really, I used to get really behind. I don't really get behind anymore like I used to. I'm just a lot faster than I used to be. Okay. So we're going to do some black now on the spine. Did I do black? Yeah. So in the middle, I'm going to do black, but I'm going to let the brown stick out. So you're going to see where that brown kind of overlays the scales a little bit. And then I'm going to hit the nose up. And then we're going to um, add our dot. So I have a stencil I cut. I just found a rando image on the internet. Um, this was not like something that was for sale by any company or anything like that. It had something in here too. And I forget what it was, but I just erased it. Um, it was just some random photo like that I found on Google. And um, it has a bunch of different circles. So. I just saved it, saved the image, traced it on my um, Cameo software and cut it up. If you just Google like circle stencil or whatever, you'll find all kinds of images with circles and stuff. Um, and if you have a silhouette Cameo, um, then you can just cut them out. Otherwise, there's lots of good places to get stencils. I don't know if Shane is still listening, but um, do you carry any of the stencils? Do you have Whitmore Farm stencils? I'm trying to remember. Shane at Sugar Tick Custom Lures, I think, has Whitmore Farm st stencils, and they're really good. And then there's Insane Custom stencils. And he's been around a long time, and he has great stencils. And then there's the 3D stencils. Um, the only thing I dislike about 3D stencils is the fact that they're only made for one type of lure. 
So you have to buy a stencil for each different kind of lure, and it gets to be kind of expensive. Um, I did a red nose on this. I don't have a pearl red. So I'm going to improvise um, and see if I can get it to work with a different color combo. Um, so I'm just going to mix together. This is deep red. Um, it's a transparent color. And then um, I'm going to do, hang on one second. I'm just going to grab a pearl powder. It'll only take me a second. I don't know how this is going to work, to be real honest with you. So I have some regular pearls. I have a red. I don't really think this is going to work very good, but this is too light, I think. I haven't used this color before. I got these on AliExpress. They're like a... Um, Aurora pearl powders. They have like a little bit of a, a color shift to them. Um, I have only bought like three colors, but um, this one I haven't used yet. So I just stuck my brush in there, and then I'm gonna run, run brush. Sorry. I'm just gonna stir it in to my deep red, and I'm gonna make my own pearl. And you can do that. You can buy Pearl X powders on Amazon or art supply stores. Pearl X makes um, the interference pearls and all kinds of pearls. And those all work through the airbrush. As long as you have a 0.3 to 0.5 nozzle, you should be able to spray them. Or you can just go on AliExpress and you can just buy stuff off there. It just takes you a few weeks to get it. <clears throat> so this is like a set. And these are all interference colors. And uh, most of them are anyway, except for this pink one. So they just show like a flash of color in the sunlight. Turn them. You've probably seen like striking bait like that where um, like oyster. If you've ever seen that color by Strike King, you turn it in the light and it looks kind of purpley. Um, but the actual lure itself isn't purple. That's interference pearl powder that does that. It almost kind of looks pink. So I'm going to go over the nose with this red pearl. I'm going to do a little heat set because I don't want to get too much on there at once. This is a little pinker than the red I usually use. I use a, a really dark red um, on my other bait. I'll show you. I'll show you the other finished bait when I get done with this. And you can kind of see like the difference um, in colors a little bit. It's not much different. I can get a match usually pretty close, but it's slightly different. So I'm just doing a few layers to try and get the color deep. You're painting too, Rob. Gosh, it is so hot. A fourth tree branch? That's what I catch. Yes, you can send me little stins. Hi, Dad. Oh, nice. That'd be cool. I would always thought it would be really cool to um, work overseas or live overseas for a little while. I've, I've visited, like, a couple of... Um, Different places. I've like chi I've been to China and um, Europe, like Italy and Switzerland. I always thought it was so. China was so cool. Like it's such. It's so hard though because there nobody speaks English there, but it's such an interesting culture. Uh, and there's so much to see. So that's what it looks like so far. And then um, we're gonna do the other one real quick, and then. It's getting super humid, like it's gonna rain. I forgot to do the black on top here.
Yeah, I don't recommend leaving your paints and your brush for a long time like that. It works out sometimes. Sometimes it's really catastrophic. Like max 15 minutes, and then you gotta rinse that out. And if it's more empty, then it's worse to leave it in there for a long time. Because you just clog the inside of your brush. And you should try not to take your brush apart anymore than you have to. Usually I'll just take the nozzle off and clean this part out. You know, scrape out like the nozzle needle area and then put it back together instead of taking the whole thing apart and soaking it. Because inevitably every time I try to put it back together, um, it, I have a hard time like getting it together exactly right. Like it just doesn't want to spray right. Um, I don't know, I kind of like that umber actually now that I look at it. That burnt umber color I used versus the sepia. Now that I get all the colors on there, I'm kind of digging it. So. All right, so there's the 1.5. All right, and then 1.5. And then here is the 2.5. Side. So this could either get a red or a gold eye. And here's the original, and I'll show you the difference. I backlighted the belly a little bit, and I had a little too much overspray on here because it was kind of like a test run. So there are a few things wrong with it. So that's the difference. I don't know if you can tell any difference at all. A little bit, maybe. The colors are just slightly different, maybe. Um, but then... Uh, this is the gold I did. So this is the, the honey gold instead of the white. The white pops better than the honey gold, I think. So we decided to go with the white. Anyway, well, I hope you guys like it. Um, I haven't decided what eye color I'm gonna do. You can vote for red or gold. That'll probably be one of the two. Big, people, red, big pupil red or gold. Um, if you want, you can comment with the color you think I should pick. But those will be in stock hopefully by this weekend. If I don't get them done by then, it'll be after this weekend. Um, I hope you guys have a safe weekend. Everybody down south, please be safe and careful. And we will definitely have you in our thoughts and hope that you get as little damage as possible. Red eyes. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are in, in the place where all of the bib bass are. Ours are so um, much smaller here. The hair dryer, yeah. You got an oyster colored strike king. Yep, yeah, I like that color. All right, guys, if I missed your question, please don't be um, afraid to message me and uh, please check out the website, live15, L-I-V-E, 15 in all caps, and we'll get you 15% off through Sunday night, August 29th. And um, I will see all of you next time. I will not be on next weekend. Um, we're gonna be camping. So I will see you in two weeks. Everybody have a great night. Thank you.